my dog is the best trader in the world now before you think i lost my brain cells and i went into the negative iq territory listen very carefully my dog eats twice a day okay sometimes i cheat here and there i give him a treat but in the morning he knows exactly at what time to ask for his food and then at night time he also has the exact specific time that he knows when to ask for his food so what he will do he will come in the morning and he'll stare at me and then i'll look at the clock and i'll say okay it's time to feed him and the same thing happens in at um around five o'clock i would say or 5 30 when we feed him again and by the way we feed him twice a day because that's what the vet told us to do and in between we give him little snacks but those specific times he comes and he asks for his food he's got this internal biological clock that he would tell me exactly the time now here's the interesting part he will come at a time that he knows the odds are very high in his favor of getting the food so he'll know that if he comes an hour earlier and he can stare at me he's not gonna get it so he doesn't come he doesn't come at three o'clock he doesn't come at two o'clock he doesn't come at four o'clock but some time around 5 5 30 he starts showing up and looking at me and he knows he'll give me those doggy eyes and i'll give him his food essentially he is the best trader in the world because every time he looks at me i give him food because he does it at the right time he learned the times that i feed him somehow internalized it with his very advanced dna biological clock that well i don't know if it's a biological clock but it's some sort of an internal clock that would tell him exactly when to ask for the food and i give it to him his trade rate is a hundred percent zero fail he comes in he gets his food now i'm asking myself what if traders behaved like my dog what if they had the patience to wait for their setup now i have to tell you that there's a substantial risk of loss in futures trading and past performance is not indicative of future results but imagine that you actually took a trade when your actual method told you to take a trade what do most traders do if they were the dog they would show up every five minutes asking me for food and i will tell them there's no way and that's what most traders do come to the market every five minutes asking something and the market says no i'm not going to give you money that's not going to happen so just like my dog you have to have the discipline to basically make it make it as a method make it as a timing to increase your potential odds of making money in the marketplace be like a dog wait for your method to occur wait for your bar to finish don't try to be lucky and in between asking for a reward when actually there is no reward to be given exercise the patience of my dog now i'm sure that some of you have dogs as well and i'm sure they show some kind of pattern and behavior that they have actually um, learned and educated themselves along the way when to ask for food and how to get it and this is how we have to behave with the markets so now that you know that i completely didn't go into the negative iq territory and there is some logic to all of this i'm asking you to think about a number of things here when can you actually go to the market and place your trades for higher odds and not just go in and out all the time you can have a method that's based on one minute it's fine three minutes is fine five minutes is fine the time period and the frequency of trading is not as important as just going to the market 
when the setup is being justified. That's all. That's all I wanted to tell you. I think it's a big lesson in discipline. You know, sometimes you get your inspirations from different places. That's where I got mine from this week. Thank you. I wish you good luck in your trades. Visit our site, www.optimusfutures.com. Again, it's optimusfutures.com. I wish you luck. I wish you a great week, a good weekend, and until the next podcast. And remember, futures trading is very risky. Trade only with risk capital. Past performance is not indicative of future results. All the best, and we'll see you on the next podcast.